We got a battle in the Southern Conference as we continue our FCS coverage here for our weekly preview of college football. I'm Christian Rao here with Steve Feck. Welcome to Slasher U. This is going to be a great matchup. The Southern Division has a lot of great games this week. This is just one of them. You can catch this one on ESPN Plus at 3 o'clock Eastern at number 16, Furman, taking on number 11, Mercer. Steve, this game could be one for the ages. Yeah, I mean, the Southern Conference has been sneaky good. I mean, basically, there are four ranked teams in the Southern Conference, all in the top 20. Uh, Sanford's leading. You've got Mercer Furman, and you've got Chattanooga. This game, though, I think is going to be, if you've got two teams that are really, they match up well against each other. So this is going to be a slugfest going down. Furman just beat Chattanooga, who had been undefeated. Uh, they were coming off of a bye week. Uh, unbeknownst to me that both these teams had a bye week last week. I didn't know that. But um, before <laughs> before that, we had, um, you know, Furman beating Chattanooga, knocking them out of the, you know, the unbeaten ranks. Chattanooga's a good football team. Chattanooga was ranked number six at the time. Furman leads the Southern Conference with two, with victories over two ranked opponents already this season. But Mercer this may be the second best football team in the state of Georgia. I mean, I mean, they just, Fred Payton has tossed 28 touchdowns, 2,200 yards. It, it, it's, it's, um, it, it's, it's, this is a game where you just sit back and you, you know, you want to have your drink there beside you because you want to, you don't want to get up and miss anything. It's going to be a slug fence. It's going to be back and forth. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's going to be a high scoring game per se, but I think it's going to be, you know, every possession uh, potentially could be the winning, you know, could be the winning possession. So uh, I highly encourage you to tune into this game because it, it gives you an idea of just how deep, and these aren't necessarily the, the two best teams in this conference, but they would be the two best teams in almost every other conference out there. You know, certainly, certainly in the East. I mean, these are really, really good football. But yeah, Mercer is a good team. They are one of only three teams in the Southern that are still undefeated at home. They look to keep that record alive. Peyton is completing almost 68% of his passes on 28 touchdowns and seven picks. This is a game to pay attention to for sure. I think this game is going to be a lot closer than a lot of people give credit for. However, I'm leaning towards Mercer because I think they keep that home winning streak alive. Give me Mercer to win this game and to sneak up and battle for the top of that Southern division. We're going to really get a better, clearer picture of this conference once these games in this Saturday is over. Yeah, and another player to keep an eye on is the All-American tight end you know, for Furman, Ryan Miller. Uh, he's caught a touchdown in nine consecutive games this season. Going back to last year, it's 12 consecutive games. Uh, this would be his second time that he'd be named an All-American this year. I think it's almost certainty. Uh, there's a lot of pro scouts, you know, uh, uh, following him all through that. But, yeah, I'm with you. I'm, I'm going to go with Mercer. Uh, it's going to be a close ball game. And another way to learn more about the FCS. We, we have focused so much on the West because that's really where the elite teams are. But we've – not paid enough attention to the Patriot, to the Colonial, to the Southern. This is a a game that you're going to be happy that you you you, you took time out of your afternoon to watch. Ryan Miller looking for his tenth touchdown as a tight end this season. He's already got nine so far. He's leading the team in receiving with 579 yards, averaging almost 11 yards a catch. The senior out of Tennessee. I mean, this guy really can play too. I'm looking forward to it. Furman's on a four game winning streak against Mercer, who is undefeated at home. Should be a good game. Looking forward to that one. Catch it on ESPN plus.